Genic, ingenious supplies. What's up, Spikes? We are back today with some fantastic casual-ish Magic the Gathering. I'm playing Casual Planner. I'm playing casual commander. No, I'm playing a single playing color. Casual. One single color. <laughs> Singular. <laughs> Singular. And it's a new card. Nobody's even touched this card yet. Yeah. Perfect. How can you know? Exactly. You... So, uh, yeah. And uh, today's game is brought to you by our wonderful sponsor, as always, Game Genic. Oh, we're going to have sparkle effects fade in. Well, we're not going to do that. We'll for sure, add it in post. Add it in post. For sure. Blame uh, the editor if it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Comment down below. Uh, anyway, today I am playing the new uh, Ojar Axonil, and at me in the comments if I said that wrong, because I probably did. I think it's like O'Hare or something. O'Her? O'Her. O'Yar? Yeah. Tell me how I said oh, it wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and it's just, it's, I'm going to take small, tiny non combat damage numbers and make them big. Hmm. You know, just fast. Fast and furious. Dinosaur drift. He's got okay. a T Rex arm. He does have a T Rex arm. Yeah. I'm not so much going fast or, or furious, I don't think. I am going big, though. Uh, I'm playing the Mimeoplasm. Oh, I'm Elliot. Jan. That's Jan. That's Jan. I'm Elliot. I'm playing the Mimeoplasm. Going big. Uh, this, once upon a time, was like a boogeyman of the format. You know, you'd make uh, your Mimeoplasm a 9 million, 9 million, and kill everybody or whatever. Uh, I like to play it a little more uh, monster of the day rather than, like, buried alive into a combo kill. It's like, what, what big fatties am I discarding or milling from the top of my deck to make my slime weird? My guy also has a T-Rex arm. So. I was going to say, we're T-Rex buddies today. <laughs> excited, yeah. What T-Rex arm are you playing, Mine gets Aaron? hunted by T-Rexes. Mm. Uh, I'm playing an even newer commander than Jan, believe it or not. I'm playing Laura Croft Tomb Raider. As of recording, uh, I don't future. believe he's on sale yet. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, so Lorecroft Tomb Raider is a teamer deck. You can get up with a lot of ways, but it lets you cast, or let you play, sorry, legendary lands and artifacts from everyone's graveyard, but uh, mostly mine. So I'm going to mill myself a bunch and see what interesting treasure I can find. What? My name was Aaron. I don't know if I mentioned that part. <laughs> My section is over. Okay. My name is Aaron. My name and is I am done. <laughs> uh, I'm Maddie. I'm playing Got Ishin. It. Two heavens is one. Yeah, I know. I put my name at the beginning. <laughs> so uh, I'm playing Ishin today. Uh, this creature will abuse triggered abilities when it does things like attacking. Mostly and attacking. mostly attacking. I think only attacking. Only attacking. It only attacking. Actually. <laughs> only attacking. So, yeah, this might be the most casual deck at the table. We'll see what, how mm. this goes. This is Brian Kibler's list from Commander at Home with a couple of upgrades. So. Moving up Brian Kibler from Hearthstone. Yes. I'm playing Famous Hearthstone player. I'd like to play his Hearthstone deck, but I don't think it works in this meta, so <laughs> All right. yeah, next All right. time. Well, let's crack into our Game Genic Bastions and get things started here. All right, well, I'm going to start us off on this very casual day of Commander by drawing a card. Oh, didn't ever not have it. See? Snow-covered mountain, go. Wow, how casual can you be? Exactly. Specifically playing snow-covered cards. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I say as I play this Field of the Dead tapped and oh. pass the turn. Oh. <laughs> Nothing happening here. This card well, isn't I'll a problem for anybody. Play a Sulphur Falls and pass my turn. All right, okay. let's draw a card. It's like seven, right? Yeah, seven. This has never I'll happened. I'll play a tapped Cliff Top, Cliff Top Retreat, pass the turn. Oh. Nice. Oh, see? And I'm going to play a second Snow Covered Mountain. I feel like I should do stuff. Already? So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to tap a red. And I'm going to cast Rite of Flame. Oh. To add two red mana to my mana pool. Uh huh. Then I'm going to tap a third Snow Covered Plains. Mountain. Mountain. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm just so excited about this. I'm playing Chandra Dressed to Kill. What is that Do one? Do you remember at the beginning of the game when you said you were playing a casual deck and then you it's just not even tortured <laughs> played Rite of Flame on turn two? I did. <laughs> I could have played it on turn one and then done nothing. Yeah, that would have been. I would have yeah. preferred that. <laughs> okay, what does Chandra Dress to Kill do? Uh, plus one, add one uh, red. Chandra Dress to Kill deals one damage uh, to up to one target player or planeswalker. I can plus one to exile top card of my library. If it's red, I may put, cast it this turn, and then minus seven does a whole bunch of words that I don't ever think I'm getting to. Cool. So, are you Eight. making a mana? I'm gonna no. Uh, oh. Ooh, actually, yeah. I'm gonna make a mana, and I'm gonna deal one to Madison. Ooh, she's on my case. What the cards <laughs> I'm playing? Thirty-nine. 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 Pass All the right. turn. On tap. Um, I've got a prismatic vista. 
And I'm going to pass the turn. Mm -hmm. Draw card. I'm going to play a Yavimea Cradle of Growth. I'm going to play a Talisman you. of Curiosity. Yes. Which will also let me play a Codex Shredder. Oh wow. my yes. goodness. Well, Go ahead. On tap. Nobody's casual today, apparently. Oh, yeah. God, I am. I, I said I was the most casual deck, deck, and I meant it. I'll play a Swamp, pass the turn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Slowest doesn't mean most casual. <laughs> oh, it's casual. All right. Well, I'm going to untap and draw. Oh, my goodness. I want to play a third Snow Covered Mountain. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. How insane would it be if I just slammed a Blood Moon right now? Not great. Pretty insane. Thankfully, Talisman of Curiosity will help me out here. Brain. Yeah, but I'm not playing that card. Yeah, we're not playing CEDH, right? Exactly. So there's no Blood Moon in his deck. Uh, I'd like to add a uh, Red Mania, uh, mm -hmm. and I'll deal one damage to Aaron. Sure. Okay. Spread, like spread the best. love. Suck it. <laughs> uh, I don't want to play my commander. Oyar Exonil, mm -hmm. the deepest might. So now, if you're so thinking now, with your yeah, it's four four trample. Don't even read the rest. Oh, okay, great. Uh, it also says if a red source I control would deal an amount of non combat damage uh, to less than Ojar's power to an opponent, that source deals an additional or deals damage equal to uh, its power instead. instead yeah. So we'll round up to four. I round up to four currently. And then when it dies, turn to the battlefield, transform, tapped under my owner's control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got uh, it. And I will say go. Uh, it's a good thing this is not a red source that you control, because I'm going to crack my Prismatic Vista and go to 39. I will have a response. <gasps> I will flash in Archivist of Ogma. Oh, oh, okay, oh. that's fine. But I thought I, I was getting... No. Oh my god. I want to myself alone. Okay, sir. Sure. I thought I was getting idiot birded. <laughs> no, no, no. Key to the city <laughs> down. Okay. Uh, I do my thing first. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 The basic land that I'm getting with this Vista is an island. Okay. Nice. I will trigger my creature to gain a life and draw a card. You so may. we'll go back to 40. All right. I will draw my card. Um, I've got a basic swamp. Um, main phase, I'm going to cast a Frantic Search. Oh, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to discard two cards, and they are going to be this Croson Cloudscaper, which is uh, a 13-13, and a Triplicate Titan, uh, which is a 9-9 with Flying Vigilance Trample. When it dies, you make three 3-3s, three, one with Flying, one with Vigilance, one with Trample. Uh, then I'm going to untap three lands. Mm -hmm. You got it. I'm playing a casual deck. Yeah, yeah I was like the it. problem. <laughs> so I'm going to cast Reanimate, uh -huh. targeting my triplicate a good Titan. Casual card, Reanimate. Oh, not Cross and Cloud Scraper. <laughs> not the That's vanilla 13, 13. No, I'd like wow. to take nine. Sure. So you go uh, to 30. I go to 30, and I have a, a nine nine with Flying Vigilance and Trample. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'll just. Uh, oh wait. Your thing makes my stuff green? Yeah. Ah, nah, it's not that cool. I'll just pass the turn. Yeah, I knew it wasn't. Nice try. Nice try, Untap. guy. Draw a card. Uh, pay two. Mm -hmm. Play a Talisman of Creativity. Mm -hmm. Pay two. Play a Ms. Miracle Orb. Whoa. Ooh. I see what you mean now. <laughs> That's cool for me. <laughs> uh, whenever a permanent becomes untapped, that permanent's controller uh, mills one card. Mill myself for one. You may. Oh, <laughs> casual <laughs> format all star. I'll pass the turn. Nothing happened here. Okay. So if I just like hide. Mill two, please, Madison. Yeah, if, she, if she hides them as it as happened, them, Ms. Miracle Orb doesn't see. <laughs> right. It doesn't use a stack. Mill two. Haunted Ridge. Deflecting SWAT. <gasps> Whoa. Deflecting SWAT. Draw a card. That's a good turn. Good job. Uh, I'm going to play a Caves of Coilus. And oh. I'm going to cast Archaeomancer's Map. Ooh, when it enters one. the battlefield, I will search my library for up to two basic planes, reveal them, and put them into my hand. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, if you have more lands than me, I get to put a land from my hand onto the battlefield. <laughs> All right, and off the map, I'm going to grab these two planes and put them into my hand. What's the uh, collector number on those? Yeah, it's very important. Uh, 277 yeah. on both of them. I get two of them. times. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, 277. Yeah. Got it. Uh, then I will move to combat, hit Aaron for two. This is because I milled you two cards? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah. 37. <laughs> Sorry, I have cards. How many cards in hand? I have eight. Two of them are 277. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to discard one, 277. <sighs> okay, mark it down. i got to write that down. Go yeah. ahead. All right, I would like to untap uh, three snow covered mountains, mountains and mill myself. Oh, <gasps> Aaron! Oh, same same soul ring. <laughs> a difference. Oh, arc lightning. That's a good one. And repercussion. 
Ooh, so that's see. also a good Casual one. cards yep. that don't do anything sure. to anyone. <laughs> I'm going to take up Chandra to add a red. Madison is at the highest life total. You're at the I highest I'd like total. for you to take four. I don't think he can uh, target himself, unfortunately. I mean, I know, uh, but... Oh no, it's target player. Oh, target yourself then. Well, now I'm at the highest. Okay, maybe that. okay next, time, next, next time. time. All right. Yeah, exactly. Here it comes. Urbrask. I thought you were going to say End of sentence. Yeah. He's just playing two just playing red, red, four, four. Yeah. Four, four, you know? four, four, red. Only, only, only red. Legendary. Legendary. No text. Yeah. Mythics. No text. Nothing else. Uh, yeah, Ur uh, Urbrask is good. Okay. Uh, and then, attack Aaron for four. Ooh. Okay. Block on my face. 33. Block with my face. And uh, pass. All right. At the end of Jan's turn, I'm going to add two green. Trial results. And untap. <laughs> Move to the end of my turn. Yeah. Oh, because uh, wants to. Yeah, I'd like to mill three cards because I have three tap lands. Soul Ring. Soul they Ring. are Stonehoof Chieftain, an 8 8 with Trample and Indestructible. Mm -hmm. Archfiend of Soros, a thing with Unearth that uh, gives my opponent's creatures minus two, minus two when an ETB is. And a Death Rite Shaman. That one's kind of lame, but mm -hmm. you know, happens. Uh, draw for turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've got an Underground Sea. Trigger the map. Oh, you may. You now have more lands than I do. I'll yeah. pay my planes. I'm going to go to combat. Yep. Uh, Jan's at the highest life total, so I'd like to attack with my 9 9 Flying Vigilance Trample. Into Chandra? Oh, Mirror Chandra. That's a good. Oh. Mm, now I've got thoughts to have. Thanks yes. a lot. I, I, no won't, problem. I, won't, I, was, I won't deal yeah. four damage to you, Elliot. Thunder I was way. trying to not have thoughts. It adds a mana, too, hey? It's just one mana. I'm going to attack the Chandra. That's You're right. Yeah. That's, that's the responsible thing Goodbye. to do. Wow. Fine. See ya. You're all on my list. <laughs> uh, then I've got uh, a fun card that I could have cast last turn, but is I didn't. Is that a threat? Yes. Because this Urborg Lurgoyf has kicker blue and or black, which I will pay both of. Mm -hmm. So when it ETBs, I will mill three cards for each time it was kicked. Mm -hmm. Six cards. We've got... Three lands. Three expeditions. Three lands. Yeah. And we've got... Acidic Slime, Ancient Excavation, Findhorn Elves. Oh, sucked. Wow, that sucked. Yeah. Uh, this thing's power is equal to the number of creature cards in my graveyard, and its toughness is equal to that much plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six is the number. Still, like, you got it. That's a lot. He is a six, seven. Mm -hmm. uh, and I will pass the turn. I will untap five permanents and mill five cards, which is Command Tower, Forest, Lightning Greaves, Mountain, Shinka, the Blood So Keep. Wow. That's a lot of mana. It is. I could have used some of that. I'm an, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have played the Spear <laughs> Core Bear. Wow, that's not a land. I cast a Goblin Engineer. Mm -hmm. yep. Are you going to be searching your library? I'm not happy about it, Madison. That's neat. <laughs> oh. That's neat. Neat. I'm going to um, put this Arcane Signet in my graveyard. Okay. So maybe, trigger maybe get back at a later date. Archivist? So you got life and draw a card. Oh. So yeah. yeah. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to untap four permanents. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mill four. Uh, Vault of the Archangel, Shattered Sanctum, <laughs> Captain Lannery Storm, and a Marsh Flats. This thing loves hitting lands. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody loves milling lands today. Uh, draw a card for my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a swap. That's pretty good. I don't Your think commander. I'm going to cast my commander, actually. I think I'm going to cast this Adeline that's in my hand. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to pay one. No, I don't have to. I can tap this thing. Two, three mana. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast a Rakdos Signet. <gasps> That's a good one. Mm -hmm. oh. I got so really, that I can mill more next turn. I got really excited. I thought it was a charm to exile your graveyard. I was <laughs> so excited. Really oh. great. I wish I had that. I would have cried. I will pass. All right. I'm going to untap four permanents. Mm -hmm. And we're going to mill a Chrome Mox, a Gut Shot, Ooh. a Desperate Ritual, and a flame jab. Ooh, retrace. Yeah, I know. I'm unhappy about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, what uh, what can I draw? <gasps> Let's start doing things. I'm going to cast a spike field hazard. Ooh. Uh, it'll deal one damage to any target. Mm -hmm. uh, and that target, I'm going to pick as Elliot. So take four. My face? Your face. Yeah. Uh, 26. 26. Sorry. Uh, then it's also going to trigger Urbrask, which is going to make one red mana and also deal one damage to something. Target opponent. Target opponent. And that opponent will, uh, let's make it also Elliot. 22. 22. And Storm Count is one. 
And I have yeah, one yeah, red mana for red it. Mana. Yes. Okay. Then oh, it's just free eight it damage. Was free eight damage. That's a combo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a lot like uh, Shades of Omnixilus. Is this a, is this a synergy? I'm going to tap two, spend this red, and cast Wheel of Fortune, triggering Urbrask to make a red, and I'll pop Elliot for two more. Or four, four more. more. Four <laughs> more. Four more. Sorry, my apologies. Sure, 18. Yeah, please. 18. Uh, okay. the wheel. No effects. No. No. Excellent. Uh, I'm discarding Outpost Siege, Display of Power, Tor Brand, and Flames of the Fire Brand. Uh, I'm discarding Decimator of the Provinces, which is relevant because it is a creature. Also has haste. Also has trample haste. Maybe relevant. Uh, and Grizzly Salvage, Dihada's Ploy, Extract from Darkness. I got uh, Dihada's Ploy also has Jump Start. Sorry. I have a Blasphemous Act, which I was uh, hoping to maybe cast. Ooh. And then some legendary equipment uh, Bitterhorn, the Reaver Cleaver, uh, and Rill. Nice. nice. That's a decent hand. I have a Cheering Fanatic, Mardu Ascendancy, Kazul, Blessing Mire, and Mishra. All right. No all more right. 277s? Nope. Okay. All out. Fresh. Out. Seven. If you don't mind telling me how many 277s you draw, sure, I appreciate no problem. I'll tell you. <laughs> Surely there's lands in these, right? Oh, I maybe I should have moved. Right, so I'll put this Wheel of Fortune in my graveyard. Then we will play a snow covered mountain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do not have more mountains than Madison. Lands. Lands. Lands, yeah. mountains. Well, I have more mountains. True. Then I will spend this. And the snow covered land to cast Pyretic Ritual. Triggering yeah. Urobrask. Uh huh. And I'll shoot Elliot. Uh, 14. And I will make four red mana. That's probably bad for me. I will spend three of my red mana to cast Valakut Awakening. Uh, and I will be putting two cards on the bottom of my library to draw three. I'll make a red mana with Urobrask and deal Elliot four. Go to 10. It's gonna go here. I will spend my last two red mana. I will cast a Gibbering Fiend. Mm -hmm. So when Gibbering Fiend enters the battlefield, it'll deal one damage to each opponent. And then it has Delirium at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep if there are four or more cards among card types in my graveyard. Uh, it deals one damage to that player. Huh. Okey -dokey. In my graveyard. Oh, okay, so, also fair. Yeah. And that's the end of my turn. Okay, I'm at a nice stable six here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll untap and I'll mill four. You got it. I've got three creatures, Gold Tree, Caustic Caterpillar, Old Stick Fingers. So this guy goes up to 10. It's not even the anime one. I know, it's tough. <laughs> uh, and then in my upkeep, I take four. Well, I mean, I'm gonna count four types of cards. Instant, Sorcery, Creature, Enchantment. You got it, I go to two. Draw for turn. All right. Uh, may maybe I got nothing. Maybe I got all I need, you know? Mm -hmm. I've got this tropical island. Oh. Which means I'm going to cast the Mimeoplasm. Yep. Do it. Uh, right on little blast. You could. <laughs> Very well could. Uh, no effects? I have no effects. Cool. I would like this Mimeoplasm to enter the battlefield as a Decimator of the Provinces, with plus one, plus one counters equal to Croson Cloudscaper's uh, power. Uh, so it'll be a 2020. Uh, and when it ETBs, I will trigger Decimator of the Provinces to give creatures I control plus two, plus two, and trample until end of turn. And that has trample and haste as well. Mimeoplasm also does exile, so this guy goes down too. But the Decimator trigger will make him 10 anyway. Uh, then we'll go to combat. Uh, I will attack. Hmm. I guess I don't kill him, hey? It's trample haste. You are attacking for uh, 41. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't kill him. Doesn't kill me. You can kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No. Uh, you can kill Maddie. <laughs> Put me out of my misery. <laughs> Fair. Uh, I will attack Maddie with this 11 11. Flying Vigilance. Well, no. It should just be Jan, right? He's the one that's going to kill you. Well, I think I'm dead to him anyway, right? I will attack Jan for 22 plus 11. Okay. Uh, not attacking with the Urborg no Lurgoyf. He's got a block, I think. I'm I at do. two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so I'll block 
Mimoplasm with Urbrask. Mm -hmm. Take 18 plus 11. Which is 29. Yes. I'll go to 11. Uh, with and you have 18. 18 Mimeoplasm. Okay. Damage. That is Urbrask yeah. down. That is the thing that I could do. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I had a turn. I want to mill myself one and tap to default mana. Mill a bow and alia. Untap. On mill level five. Exotic Orchard, Hodawara, Windfall, <laughs> a Chroma's Memorial, <laughs> Chamil the Inner Sun. I love that. A Chroma's Memorial, huh? Yeah, that's cool. And cast off my Lara Croft. Uh, on your upkeep, you will take four. I've already dropped my card. Well, it's <laughs> 25. Uh, 25. 25. Play Rebound Greg for the turn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tap my Codex Shredder to mill myself for one. Oh, that's a squeak. <laughs> Goblin and Bob, who will return to my hand. Value. I play that card in far too many decks. I will pay a red, and I will Goblin Engineer my precious Coda Shredder away for me the Arcane Signet we prepared earlier. So I can start getting some, some mana going mm -hmm. when I need some of that. Um, can you deal 11 to Jan? Oh no! I'm, le oh. I was like, I'm legitimately yeah. getting nervous now with all this stuff. Aaron's doing. Uh, I, I don't Madison's think I do. can. Can you kill this guy? Oh. I, not that I'm in a position to like bargain. Really, I've got a yeah. twenty twenty, and uh... I can't really do it. You know what? Elliot? How about this? I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna pay two. Uh huh. I'm gonna play a uh, the Iron Craig. Right? Crazy. I know. What does that do for me? Nothing. Oh, uh, it's okay. a legendary <laughs> artifact that taps that colorless and has some other text that's probably not gonna be relevant for now. I'm gonna cast Storm the Vault. Mm hmm. Uh, Legendary Enchantment. Whenever one or more creatures I control deal combat damage to a player, make a treasure token. Uh, at being my end step, if you control five or more artifacts, transform Storm the Vault. Uno, dos, tres, four, five is enough. Uh, I'm going to try to end my turn. Yeah. Storm All the right. Vault effect turns into a really fancy Tularean Academy. It certainly does. Who has mana now? Pastor. Right. I'm going to untap five permanents and mill five cards. Sun Titan. Arid Mesa, Sword of Feast and Famine, Aurelia, and Sacred Foundry. Whoa, those are good ones. I yes. Some stuff. We'll draw a card. Uh, you take yes, four, four, four from this thing. Four, go to 29. Yeah. I'm going to play a mountain. <laughs> I'm going to Vandal Blast this Miss Miracle Orb so I don't have to mill any more cards. Oh, ah. Thank you. Great. All right, I'm going to cap three mana to cast Ishin. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any effects of getting annihilated here. <laughs> Ishin. <laughs> And I'm also going to tap two mana for a Dolmen Gate to prevent all combat damage the that would be dealt to attacking Alex creatures Staple. I control. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I would like to move to combat. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Adeline with Vigilance is attacking Jen. This is also attacking Jen. Uh, mm -hmm. Adeline triggers when I attack, and I will have two humans that are attacking each player. Sure. We'll just use these dice for now. Mm -hmm. Why am I getting attacked? Because you're at I 11. I wonder why. How much damage have you done to everybody? That's a great question. So Adeline's power is currently 9. Mm -hmm. Elliot's also going to maybe just yeah. kill us. I'm just, you know, I, that also I might happen. I the answer's all of it. I mean, maybe. We're not uh, all dead. Um, yeah, but all the time. Okay, how big is Adeline? 9. 9. nine and I've got two one ones and a 2-2? Two two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, I'll block uh, Adeline with the Gibbering Fiend. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will block the 2-2 two -two mm -hmm. with okay. Oger, and I'll take two. Okay. I will block the two tokens. Okay. I will take two. Gibbering Fiend down. Okay, that's good for One me. One creature at a time, boys. <laughs> All right, that's the end of my turn. Cool. I'm going to untap and not mill any permanents. I'm going to cast Jessica's Will. Ooh. Yeah. Five cards in hand. Uh, seven. Ooh, Card far more than me. Mm. Five cards. Pick Elliot. You got seven. Seven red mana. Okay, Jen, remember what I did for you? Uh, yes. <laughs> I, I will always remember. And I'll exile the top three cards of my library that I can play this turn. Yeah. Lava Dart. That's bad for me. Vandal Blast. Snow Covered Mountain. Well, I'm going to play the Snow Covered Mountain. Mm -hmm. All right. So I would like to spend four of this mana to cast a Fiery Confluence and choose the mode deal two damage to each opponent three times. I would propose to deal 12 damage to all of my unfriends. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch of big Dorcases in my hand. No effects. No effects. Taken okay. a million. Uh, Aaron to 
11, Maddie to 17. Mm -hmm. I yeah. that. I know it's dead. Oh. I'm turbo dead. Please get it right. Turbo dead is, turbo is a, dead. an important distinction. I will spend the remaining mana to cast Neheb. Okay. The Eternal. Mm -hmm. Go to combat. I will attack Aaron for four. Seven. Down to seven. I'll move to my post combat main phase. Mm -hmm. I will add 12. You don't get it for me because I'm dead. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. 24 plus and... four. Four. 28 red mana. I will spend one of it. 27. To cast Chandra's Incinerator. Spend two more mana. Cast Young Pyromancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 25. Okay. Uh, then I will go all in and I'm going to cast Lava Dart. It Six. exiles itself when you cast it the first time. Oh, it does has it? Flashback. Flashback. That's fine. Okay. Cast Lava Dart twice. So I'll spend one mana to cast it. Then I'll sacrifice this mount and cast it again. So sure. I will lava dart Aaron twice. Sure. So how much are we doing here? Eight. Eight. Okay. I'll die. You're done. Uh, and I will make two one one red elementals. Uh, and I will spend my one. How much mana do I have left? Twenty four. I'll overload Vandal Blast. Destroy all artifacts. I was gonna die anyway. True. <laughs> All my artifacts are gone. Then I will pass. You get another one. Oh, I get another one. <laughs> so now my things can die in combat. That's cool. Mm -hmm. He is at nine. Yeah, I, at nine. This I is will a, untap. This is a weird one. I Everything. Like maybe miscalculated. I don't know why it killed me. I don't either. Like Vandal Blast kills me anyway. Play it Mana That's Confluence. Fair. I'm going to cast a Gold Spand Dragon. Red. Red. Three mana. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Do I have how many things can you block? You have three, four, five, six. I'll block six. All right, I am going to move to combat. Yep. Uh, everything is going to attack you. Okay. Trigger Adeline. Make two more dudes mm -hmm. that are attacking right. you. Okay. Okay. So nothing flies. This flies. Well, nothing. Yeah, you nothing on yours. No, sorry, yeah. nothing yours yeah. flies. Oh yeah, you make two treasures. Two. As well. Oh yeah, and I make two treasures. If it's going to be important. It's two treasures, and they. Add two each. That's four mana. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I can block. You can block Adeline. Adeline's I block huge. Adeline. You can block Ishin is the next biggest thing. Yeah. Ishin. You can block 2-2. Two, two. So two, two. Two. And then you can block three one ones. Three one ones. And so you're taking five and you take one. nine exactly. Nine, nine exactly. exactly. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. You love to see it. Well. <laughs> That's that, I guess. Yeah, I got too excited. About <laughs> burning people. And the casual deck either. wins again. <laughs> yeah, what a sneaks in from a, behind. That was a crazy game. Oh, I don't think it was happening. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dead turn five. <laughs> yeah, or our turn five. Yeah, you, I, were, you were essentially dead turn four. Yeah, I was. Which is insane. I also uh, just, got too excited. Because right. I thought my thing was like killing you for sure yeah. when I exiled those two things and then realized that it definitely didn't because you had a like block or whatever. Um, I don't think I had a different line because I was at two. <laughs> but, That's fair, yeah. Yeah, so I didn't really get to do anything. Like I kept the two lands, two mana rocks. And yeah. just didn't draw another land. Yeah. And then milled all your lands. Uh, milled us a bunch. Well, that, that part's that part's other important. Like I, I want to mill myself anyway. Um, yeah. But I just didn't hit another land, uh, so I didn't have time to set up uh, Lorecroft, uh, start casting cards out of my graveyard. Uh, and then eventually, even after everything, uh, I actually got a new hand and everything, it was still fine because I could have anchored to reality, got like Sky Sovereign, I had a Shadow Spear. I could have started doing things, but I was just dead, it doesn't matter. <laughs> right. And then between Vandal Blast, Vandal Blast, we were going to lose anyway. <laughs> tough. It's, <laughs> it's too bad, I couldn't get, uh, couldn't get going. Yeah, a little tough. Mm -hmm. um... I, I like. I honestly didn't think Mass would have that many attackers. Yeah, mm -hmm. me either. Oh, I've played the, this deck a couple of times and it hasn't won a yeah. game. So the four four flyer that was pretty fun. Was that yeah. in your hand or did you draw that? I drew that it. Turn? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Adeline's Excellent. really good. Adeline makes a lot of pressure. Yeah, this deck feels like Omnix a slot. It dealt so much I damage. Dealt yeah, a that lot. was. Yeah, <laughs> I died so fast. Yeah. Again, yeah. like there's all those cards that again, just like an ob that you yeah. that seems so whatever. Like, oh, like the flame jab. How bad can flame jab be? Right, Spike well, feel has right. it. Yeah, yeah. No, just kidding. <laughs> in in theory, it took 
like quite a bit of setup too, right? Like, because you had to play this guy, yeah. for, which is four, four. and had and to draw Rask. and play Urbrask yeah. to specifically do as, mm -hmm. as much as he did. But yeah. that is a this that's this a synergy and a half a lot, yeah. dealing four, mm -hmm. making red mana every time. Yeah, yeah that's that was pretty crazy. crazy. That yeah. deck really pops off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I'm like, I was out of gas, and I think like if I hadn't killed Aaron, I couldn't have killed Madison. But it could have destroyed a bunch of her creatures. Right, the yeah. incinerator, the incinerator kills, like Adeline Ishin or something. If you yeah. lava dart her twice, yeah. 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 Because if, if, then you, if you like, keep me alive at seven, Vandal blasting takes me out of the game virtually anyway. Yeah. But I'm another warm body that yeah. Madison can't ignore if she's too low. Mm -hmm. But oh no, the Adeline's dead. I was yeah. like, if you stay alive, you make she makes two more. Uh, yeah, yeah. Adeline. Anyway, uh, cool. yeah. yeah. I don't know. This was like a go fast deck, and I just. Went fast. Went very fast. You saw every single card Went I drew or played. <laughs> yeah, actually true, right? Yeah. yeah. That's like yeah. kind of the, the bane of mono red too, right? Is like yeah. you sufficiently killed me and like had enough to kill Aaron and then didn't didn't get there in the end. But um yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. Mm -hmm. Uh if you want to keep your cookies from crumbling. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's the one. Eh? Eh? You can head on over to uh, your local game store, ask them about game genic products. If they've got them, you can uh, buy them for your, your deck boxes, your sleeves, your play mats, your boxes for your deck boxes. They have all sorts of great stuff. If they don't have them at your game store, ask. Maybe make them can get them in. Yeah. Don't uh, crumble your cookies. Yeah, threaten, <laughs> them, threaten them with their crumbly cookies. <laughs> Say, you'll crumble. I'll crumble cookies. your cookies there if you, you don't bring in yeah. game genic. Over to the side of Aaron's head or my head, I don't know. Um, the patron, the names of our patrons will be scrolling by. Uh -huh. This guy. You can join that, that list guy? if you'd like. I like that guy a lot. That guy right there. Wait, that way. You got a lot? <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't know which way they go either. I don't do this very often. So, yeah, you can join that list if you'd like. Head on over to patreon.com slash the spike feeders. Uh, we have a Discord server that you get to join and chat with us if you uh, are a patron. You can join the uh, secret channels or the extra channels for as little as one US dollar a month. Um, and yeah, I think. You know, I had fun. I mm -hmm. hope you guys had fun watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.